alive and in humongous color from west of the Rockies of Let's Make It Bacon with Ace. And uh, it is 11.18 p.m. And we have a thermometer. So this turkey right here, it's uh, not tofu turkey. It's uh, made of soapstone and sand. Uh, look at that. Oh, she looks... She looks good. She looks real good. What, uh... Is our turkey up to temperature? Oh, wow. That's awesome. Hi. 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 I need to get a better thermometer. All right, give me a second. I will tell you uh, what the high is on this thermometer because I have no idea right off the bat. Does it say on the back? Nope. But I'll tell you in just a minute. Hold on. All right, continued. So uh, the thermometer that I bought isn't fantastic. Oh, man, that hurts. I need to buy one that is uh, goes up to like 500 plus degrees uh, Frankenstein. But this one goes up to 230, so it's not... It's not fantastic, okay? It's not, but that's okay. It, it, you know, says at least the top has reached 230, and uh, that's good. That means that, uh, you know, it's it's done its full, full chooch as far as charging up this thermal battery of power. It's now, see, I thought it was going to get down in the 40s, but I think that the weather actually said that uh, it was going to get down to... 37 degrees Frankenstein tonight. So, I am going to shut the camera off. I am going to go to bed. It's 11:21 uh, now. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to wake up, and then I'm going to come back out. And I'm going to use the thermometer, and I'm going to show you after a night of 37 degrees or whatever it ends up being. I'll I'll look and see when I go to bed here, so I'll be able to tell you when you see the next clip. Um, and we'll see how much of that uh, heat it was able to retain. And, you know, we're not going to be able to get a precise loss um, as far as how much it was able to express, you know, maths and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, it'll, it'll show us, okay, what, uh, what kind of battery what are we talking about here? Is it long term? Does it express it quickly? You know, is it uh, 60 degrees in the morning? We'll find out. So... I'm going to quit yammering and go to bed, and uh, it'll be just a second for you, and snap. Okay, it is morning, 9.50 a.m. Overnight, got down to 37 degrees. Out here, just on the random ground. 54. Up here, 105. Very nice. But to wrap up today's video, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, do I consider the turkey roaster thermal battery successful? Yes, definitely. Um, it's something to where I was able to put uh, 15, I believe it's 1,500 watts, uh, 14 or 1500 watts into uh, into the the roaster and have it store that power in the form of heat and then slowly dissipate it throughout the evening and to where you know it went from over 200 degrees possibly up to 450 but uh, to be honest uh, when heating soapstone it takes it it can take a while and that's a large thermal mass a turkey uh is hollow <laughs> cuz you know it doesn't you know it's got stuffing in it but uh it's not dense like it, it like this is this is i mean this is sand this is soapstone this is dense this is heavy um, and so, whereas a turkey, you know, roasting it in there at 450 for, you know, a few hours would be able to penetrate to the, you know, very center and, and get it all the way up to, you know, 450 degrees, blah, blah, blah. With this, 
it, you know, that's going to take longer. Uh, and I firmly believe that if I would allow uh, six hours, maybe six hours of of heating, uh, you know, do a, a full day and it will, it'll, it'll depend. You know, I've got 26 solar panels that I'm going to be putting up, uh, whether that will be enough to charge the batteries and run one slash two of these kind of things. Um, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, if it was able to do both at the same time, that would be pretty dang cool. Um, overall, just because it, it is, it's, uh, it's something to where it can store that energy and then release it. Whereas with any other kind of heater, any other kind of heater, you're not going to get that. And, uh, you know, you might, uh, there might be some people who bring up, oh, well, you know, it's an oil heater, you know, those oil heaters, yeah, they, you know, they <coughs> have a wire in them and store up the, the heat energy. Um, I want you to run an oil heater for four hours and then shut it off and put it outside at 37 degrees and then within four hours not have it completely stone cold. That's just the reality of it. It's uh, This is a battery. It is charging the battery. <clears throat> and then the discharge is a slow discharge and and then you're back to to where you started but uh, uh you know is it is this going to you know is this going to heat my entire rv i'm going to run this and just this alone is going to heat the entire rv overnight no no that's not its intent that's about as absolutely heinously crazy as uh, some of the folks i've seen on the youtubes uh that will take two candles and a clay pot and be like this this uh these two candles and this clay pot will will help you survive it's like do you know how big the flame is on a candle do you know how many btus that puts out even it even if the pot absorbed maximum all of those btus and radiated back out it's not going to 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 be substantial enough for a room. Maybe if you took, you know, a a cover, you know, and, and covered yourself. But you know, in reality, you know, I used to teach wilderness survival classes, and even taking, you know, putting rocks in a, a fire, taking them out, and sleeping either close to them or on them, or you know, that kind of thing. Even with that, like a fire, a real fire, not a candle, but a fire, the rocks in a few hours, yeah, they're, they're going to lose their heat and you're going to absorb it. And, you know, that's just the way it is. <clears throat> so I have no expectations that this is going to be a catch-all, a, a solution that's going to just fix everything and make everything magically delicious. No, no, all this is supposed to do is make it to where the the amount of heat energy that is in the rv that's that's being expressed by this battery over the course of an, of a night would be able to reduce the amount of energy <coughs> excuse me that has to be pulled from the batteries that would then need to be recharged the next day because this is going to be using excess power and not just the power that is in the batteries this is this is meant for okay the batteries are charged turn this on <coughs> and charge this so so i gotta i'm in the garage and i cleaned out part of it and so now dust is uh so any kind of wind is just uh, running up dust so i've gotta <coughs> i gotta end the video but um uh, yeah, so so that's all uh, for for today. Uh, but it was a success. <coughs> okay, I gotta get out of this garage. All right, um, have a great one and uh, goodbye.